So hello and welcome to Dami Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug is from an old set. I think we this was one of those um, found in a box that was left behind kinds of things. There were four mugs. There is this one. Two of them have monarchs and I believe one of them has a blue butterfly on them. Not sure, haven't seen the blue butterfly one in a while. This one has been being used to hold things for me for a while. It just recently got cleared out. And so I've cleaned it up and now I can go ahead and use it for my tea. And today's tea is Ticino's Chicory Herbal Tea Dandelion Red Chai. Caffeine free, acid free. It has in it organic carob. Well, let's just assume everything's organic. Carob, rooibos. Chicory, dandelion root, dates, cinnamon, ginger, natural spice flavor, cardamom, sweet blackberry leaves, black pepper, cloves. Uh, it's also processed on a machine that processes almonds. So if you're allergic to nuts, this is a no. However, this was one of my sips by teas. We're still waiting for my sips by box at the time that I filmed this. More than likely, this will go after, up after we finally receive it. Regardless, it's one of the teas that I kept, so I must have liked it. For some reason, I'm not remembering it very well. It does say it is a medium roast, and anytime I see roast, I think coffee, and I'm not a big coffee drinker, but hopefully this tea is just fine. So let me give it a taste and remind myself of what it tastes like. Chocolate. It is chocolate. It tastes like chocolate. It's the carob. Mm, it's good. I can live with that. Nothing like coffee. I think that's why I kept it and why I liked it, because it's nothing like coffee. Anyway, so today I thought, well, let me preface to say, since my birthday bash, when I revealed that I'm 55, I've had a lot of people tell me that I don't look 55. I've had quite a few people tell me that my skin looks great for 55. And we can't discount hereditary genes and all that other stuff, especially considering I didn't actually start my skincare routine uh, prior to actually doing actual skincare stuff. I basically washed my face with soap and with just, not even soap, just with warm water. That's it. I'd use a washcloth and I'd be done. I wouldn't moisturize or anything. And I did that up until somewhere between 52 and 53 years old, so a long time. And um, I have had a few issues with my skin, but those have cleared up. And I just kind of thought, since so many people seem to think that I look young, and thank you all for that, um, I would go ahead and talk about some of my holy grail skincare so that you guys know what I'm using and if you're interested you can give it a try. Um, there are There's one item missing and another item I have in a little packet that I haven't purchased because I'm trying to use up something else in the same category. But let's go ahead and get started and we will start with cleanser. Uh, this is the Derma E Hydrating Gentle Cleanser with Hyaluronic Acid. It's got the blue blue lid on it. They have several different colored uh, collections. Um, this is really, really nice as a cleanser. It's a fairly new find. I did win this from Derma E. Um, we are not sponsored. It's not PR. I won it in a contest. Um, they run one every week, I think. Something like that. So you can go in and try to get various different items that they are um, trying to promote. Uh, by winning these these contests on Facebook and Instagram. So I just started this um, uh, just before Christmas, probably somewhere early in December. Um, I have my little line on it for my reverse rouge, so I know when I've used it up. Um, this cleanser gets my face really, really clean, but does not strip it. My skin does not feel dry, not even on my cheeks, which, as I've noted before, um, I have combo, oil, uh, combo, combo skin and my nose is really oily, but my cheeks are really dry. This doesn't even make my cheeks really dry, but it does a really good job on cleaning after. I use uh, baby wipes to remove my makeup 
and on my eyes I tend to use uh, some kind of makeup remover, uh, usually something I'm testing. <laughs> um, I like the Perlosophy actually, but I can't afford it right now, so usually something I'm testing. Um, but I almost always use a makeup remover to remove uh, stuff around my eyes. But even with that, uh, I tend to have leftover mascara and this gets even that cleaned off. So it gets my skin really, really clean. It removes any um, vestiges, remainders of makeup that may be left on my face from um, using my baby wipes, but it does not make my skin dry. Um, this is only $15.50 for this uh, eight ounce, six ounce, six ounce bottle. Um, you don't need a lot. You just one little pump and it does a great job. I use it with a little um, facial sponge that can be used to remove masks. Um, I use it with that so I get a little bit of extra scrubbing from it. The, the lather is nice. It does, it's, it's a really nice cleanser and it has become, it's actually, um, I think it's actually better than my first aid beauty that I used to use that I loved so well. So second, after cleansing, I would mask, and I have a couple of them here. Uh, the first two are from L'Oreal, and that is their new uh, mud, their pure clay masks. This one is the algae. This is the charcoal. The algae has little um, granules in it. And I have found that those granules will help clean out, uh, particularly if you get a uh, very tiny, the really, really tiny, hard uh, pimples around your face. I get them around my lip a lot and around my nose. This actually helps clean those out. I try to use this once a week uh, to help keep things cleaned out. It does a really good job. Uh, this is a replacement for my Origins um, a charcoal pore cleaning mask. I really like the Origins. However, this is about half the price and um, seems to work just as well and I enjoy it just as much. So these two are the first two masks that I'm going that um, are holy grails for me and I've just purchased a replacement for this one so that should be on its way to me from Amazon soon. I don't use this one nearly as much because I do have a number of charcoal and clay masks and I get them frequently in my Ipsy and my BoxyCharm and stuff like that. So this one doesn't need to be replaced as much, but this is a very, very unique mask that I find um, I do need to replace a little bit more frequently. The third mask is actually a do-it-yourself mask, and here it is in its little container. Um, and I will put the actual, I will put the recipe below, but I will tell you what I put in here right now. Um, obviously, this is a very big amount. This has been, this is going on about nine months. You only use a teaspoon or two, and my spoon in here is very small. I use a little, it's almost a baby spoon. I put a teaspoon or two of that in my hand, and then I add a little bit of olive oil. And so, this mask is made with two cups of oats, one cup of ground, not instant coffee, and a half, half cup of unsweetened cocoa, and I run that through a food processor until it's as ground up and as uh, powdery as I can get it. I mix with a little olive oil and pat on my skin for 10 to 15 minutes, and then very gently rinse it off. And you do have to be gentle because the coffee will create granules, and if you're too hard, you can, um, break the skin and cause abrasions. Um, this is, a, like I said, this is obviously a big batch. It's going to last me a long time. I still have some of, one of the ingredients uh, sitting underneath my fridge. I believe it's underneath my sink. I believe it's the, um, the coffee. We, nobody drinks coffee in this house anymore. <laughs> We've been trying to get off the caffeine because it can increase your, um, um, blood pressure apparently. Um, so what does this mask do? Well, this mask helps uh, brighten the skin. It prevents clogged pores. It softens lines. It exfoliates. It bolsters the skin's protective barrier. It moisturizes uh, with skin healing and anti-inflammatory antioxidant and itch relieving properties. I had to hunt down what each one of these ingredients does. 
It repairs skin cells. It neutralizes harmful free radicals. It has my vitamins in it, including A, D, and K, as well as E. It can decrease acne by killing off the bacteria that causes it. And it has anti-aging and cancer-fighting properties. So it does a lot. It does a lot. It also, because of the coffee, it helps wake you up if you use it or wake your skin up a little bit when you use it. Um, I use this skin, this every other week or so. I do not do not use it every week. Um, my recommendation is because of the coffee, I the granules that I get are not as fine as say the granules in here. So I would say pay attention to how your skin is feeling before you use it. If your skin is feeling sensitive or irritated or um, you know somewhere along those lines don't use this this it's a great for all of those properties in it but you want to use it when your skin is um, calm and not irritated and not you know in any way aggravated or anything you definitely want to be very gentle when you rinse it off because you do not want to cause those abrasions but other than that um, teaspoon or two, two teaspoon or two in your hand and then just a little bit of oil to get it to the consistency you like mix that together pat it over your face let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes and rinse um yeah so i made this basically hunting down various um ingredients for uh, do-it-yourself masks and then came up with this recipe on my own <laughs> Okay, so after your mask, the next thing you do is tone. And my toning pads that I prefer to use are the facial radiance pads. Now, these are First Aid Beauty, and they are a bit expensive. They're $30 for 60 of them. I did try another brand, Nip, Nip something, other, Nip Fab, I think. I didn't dislike the Nip Fab. However, I don't think they're as good as these. Um, the pad is not as sturdy though that didn't bother me much i also wasn't sure if that was an exfoliating pad or a toner and so i just went back to this and this is i've been using these since i started doing skincare i really really like them they get any leftover mask off they get any leftover um some masks will pull crud out of your your pores it gets any of that off um it's just a really they're really good toners um Probably would be cheaper if they had an actual had the serum in here in an actual body bottle and you could use your own little pads But I like the convenience of these two So um, I'm going to continue to purchase these even though they're a little on the expensive side And I do like the fact that these little pads are um, They're very smooth on one side but they have a slight ridging bumpiness on the other side. I'm trying to see if you can, yeah, you can kind of see it. They have kind of a slight bumpiness on the other side that you could use as uh, to help exfoliate. Um, they do clean very well. These, whenever I talk about um, whether or not my radiance pad came up slightly dirty from a new um, Skincare product I'm trying, these are the pads that I usually use for that because these will get any last bit of makeup or whatever off your face and you'll be able to tell if whatever you're using is actually doing what it's supposed to do or working to clean up your face. Um, they can... Actually, I can't say that. I've never noticed drying. I was going to say they can dry because they are a toner, but I've never noticed any kind of drying effect. So I like them. A lot and I will continue to use these so next is a serum and this is my Mario Badescu anti acne serum um, I only use this at night and I use very little of it this is actually pretty close to a brand new bottle almost I think I've had it for about a month gonna have to ease up a little bit I've been having a few more issues around my nose and face a bit um, don't know why just weird but anyway um, this I use this every night to help reduce the chance of breakouts I use it on my nose and I use it in this area in here where I tend to get breakouts a lot and I will put it on my chin where I tend to get breakouts 
and I put it in between my brows. So, um, and then I also use it, and it does seem to help. I do not get a whole lot of breakouts. If I do get a breakout, it's usually from a product or something that I'm trying that's causing that. Um, I do get the occasional bump, lone bump, um, and I put this over that, and for most of them, it will practically, it'll make them disappear almost overnight. Uh, I might need it a night or two, but for most of them, it goes it goes away really quickly, especially if I catch it early. Um, so this is another one. This is $20. You can get this either at the Mario Badescu site or on Amazon. It is very good. Um, there are some reviews that say that it doesn't work for them, so, meh, you know, it works for me. It does a really good job of keeping me fairly, not completely, um, acne free. I have found that it does not work so well with, um, you know, like whiteheads, that kind of thing. Uh, it just seems to do better with the more uh, subcutaneous. Subcutaneous? I can't even know. Uh, but the bumps that go a little bit deeper, it seems to work better for those um, than it does for like actually prominent visible whiteheads. Although I haven't seen a lot of whiteheads since I started using this either. So after my serum, I have a couple of things and the order just kind of depends on, on how I feel about it. How I'm feeling that day. Um, Usually, I will go to my eye cream next. Right now, I'm using, trying to use up my First Aid Beauty 5-in-1 uh, eye cream. It's a decent eye cream. I don't dislike it. Um, it works okay. <laughs> uh, it has even things out a little bit underneath my eyes. But I am trying to use that up to justify buying the Cetaphil Hydrating Eye Gel Cream. I really, really like this. I got this in my um, Walmart box, and I really, 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 really like this. This is very emollient, very hydrating. It doesn't claim to have, you know, skin tone evening properties or anything like that, but that's just fine. Since I've started using this, or when I was using this, I should say, a lot of the texture underneath my eyes, and I tend to have a lot of texture under my eyes, um, got really smoothed out and looked really good. And I'd actually honestly prefer to have um, the texture disappear because I can cover up dark circles, if that makes sense. Uh, whereas with texture, it's really hard to fight texture with your foundations and stuff. And, um, you know, you put on your foundation and if you're lucky, your foundation doesn't emphasize it and then you put on powder and the next thing you know, your texture's back. So, uh, this actually helped reduce my texture significantly. So once my first day beauty is gone, I'll be getting this. And this is, I really like first day beauty. Most of you probably know that. I really do like it. However, this is, um, this is the eye cream I really, really want. And I would call a holy grail. Um, just wish it wasn't $14, which is Granted, less than half the cost of the first day beauty I bought, but still wish it wasn't $14. Okay, so the next two items are also kind of serums in a way. Um, they're both kind of vitamin mineral boosters for my skin. And so we'll start with this one. This is uh, Vichy Mineral 89. It does claim to be kind of a moisturizer. It's a booster skin fortifier daily booster. This has um, a lot of minerals and things of that nature in it um, that your skin can really use. This goes on first. You do not need a lot. I got introduced this um, from one of my subscribers. She sent me a little sample in a gift box early in the channel, early last year, and I fell in love with it. I will say that um, I can't sit there and go, this is when I started using it and when I ended up when I ended up using it all up, this is how my skin looked. I just like the idea of having uh, the minerals and um, extra boost of moisture in my skin. Um, I do think that it has helped make my skin look as, as good as it does. And uh, so it goes on underneath most everything else. Um, this is also something I think I've mentioned before that... Um, 
I don't like my foundation to just be there to color my face. And uh, I used to use the First Aid Beauty um, Coconut Smoothie Moisturizing Primerizer stuff. <laughs> I like that, however, um, I like this more. <laughs> And so uh, I used to mix that into my foundation. Now this gets mixed into my foundation. So sometimes I get a double boost of this. I have uh, this one here and I've got another half jar in my bathroom that I use at twice a day. So sometimes I'll use this three times a day if I'm doing um, filming or putting on makeup that day. So, But generally this is a morning and night thing unlike the acne stuff which is at only at night. Also, the masking is only at night, um, and the pads are only at night. In the morning, um, I use water and a washcloth to wash my face, because I don't, so I don't even use the cleanser. And then I put on my under eye stuff. I put on my Vichy, and I put on the next two items. Um, at night is when I do the exfoliation and the masking and all that other stuff. So. And I use the, the Derma E soap at night. So, but um, this little jar, I believe, is $30. It's worth it. It took me nine months. I'd have to check. I will check when I last ordered it because, and to when I next ordered it, and I'll be able to tell you how long one bottle took me to get through. I'm sure this one, these, the one I'm using now, between the two of them, is going to take me just a little bit less time because I am using it more um, because I'm putting it into my uh, foundations. But I do believe it's worth it. It gives your skin um, a bunch of nutrients that it needs, and I really appreciate that. Next is my Claire's. Uh, Vitamin, a freshly juiced vitamin E mask. This is this is kind of worn off on my thing. This has vitamin E, niacinamide, adenosine, and gives you a boosting radiance and glow. The big thing in here is the vitamin E to me. Um, as many of you know, this last summer I had some issues under my eyes, and I was really worried about uh, the the scarring. It, possibly getting scars and other kinds of things that you can have when you got stuff that takes a long time to heal off your eyes. Really? Sorry about that. Our neighbors were having an issue. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, like I was trying to say, I was having issues under my eyes over the summer. And um, as all you know, during that time, I was trying very hard not to use... Um, um, a whole lot of creams on my face. I wasn't using my color correctors. I wasn't using my cream foundations or anything like that. And um, I honestly believe that this helped with the healing and repair of that because of the vitamin E. Um, this is $27. I have gotten to, well, I'm almost halfway down. Almost. Not quite. About two thirds, I think. Um, since I purchased it, I'll have to look that one up too. I'll, I'll list that below. Um, this is $27 on the Hush app. I do believe Claire's has their own site. It is a jelly white cream type thing. Um, the only thing that surprised me about this versus the little sample that I got from Hush that convinced me to buy this is that this has a slightly different consistency than the little sample they gave me. Um, you have to kind of dig your finger in a little bit to to get it and it's a very kind of a jelly kind of consistency um, you do not need a lot of this a, a little bit of this goes a long way I use it all over my face and my neck and it does I think it does a wonderful job I think my skin has um, started looking much healthier since I started using this and I did start using this before my birthday I will say um, and my birthday was in October so I think I started yeah I started using this in the summer had to be about July or August that I started using this. So that's how long I've had this bottle is July or August. And um, uh, I highly recommend it. 
yes, $27 is a bit pricey, $30 is a bit pricey, but for some things I am willing to spend the price and this is definitely one of them. If I had to make a choice between these two, I would still buy this one and try to figure something else out for my toner. Really would. As much as I love these, I'd try to figure something out else for my toner. Um, really like, I think the vitamin E is, is just does an amazing thing for your skin and I don't know about the other two ingredients they list there but it definitely definitely has improved the softness the uh, elasticity um, just the overall appearance and health of my skin so highly recommend this one so the last thing you do is moisturize and I am still looking for a holy grail moisturizer um, especially for night Nighttime, I can get a heavier moisturizer, but I actually prefer something lighter. I do want to, uh, I do have a sample of the new First Aid Beauty Barrier. Bar Barrier? Anyway, yes, that new moisturizer that they just came out with that I am waiting, I'm trying to get through my um, Elemis stuff before I start playing with it. Um, in the meantime, yes, Sora. Sora. She didn't stop because of me. Anyway, in the meantime, I have been using the Hydrating Derma E Hydrating Day Cream for my night cream. The night cream was just, both this and the night cream are pretty heavy. I just recently did a review on them. Um, but to me, the night cream, even though it has a slightly looser consistency, is a much heavier cream than this one. So I've been using this at night and I've been using the Elemis to get rid of it during the day um, to get through it. Um, this is okay. Uh, my thing with it is, is I still feel it on my skin in the morning. There's still this uh, tacky, heavy feeling on my face. I, I, I don't like it. Um, I don't like the feeling. The cream itself, when I wash my face, my skin is still is soft and I think it's moisturized. So it's a good cream. It's just too heavy for me personally. Um, so I really want to try the Barrier, and I wouldn't want to get back to you guys on what my Holy Grail moisturizer is, because this is not my Holy Grail. It's just what I'm using right now. Uh, but yeah, those are my mostly Holy Grails with a couple of other things thrown in that I am used to get through my process. Highly recommend pretty much all of this, and uh, the only one that might be an issue for people is the DIY one. You do need some sort of food processor to create it, and um, you can get the regular pure olive oil. You don't need to get extra virgin. This will be cheaper than the extra virgin, which will make this a pretty cheap overall mask. Uh, but if you don't want to do that, then you know what? Just use this. You'll be fine. Uh, and, you know, from what I understand, the, the anti-acne stuff, most anti-acne stuff, seems to be very uh, subjective. Most products will either work for one person but not another. Uh, I have heard some bad things about certain other products, but these aren't it. Um, if you were going to choose between these two, I would get this one. As much as I love this and like putting it into my um, foundation, I think this one is actually... Uh, done a lot more visibly for my skin if that's what you're looking for um, but yeah that's it that's my skincare my holy grails and one or two extra things in the mix and I hope you like what you've seen and if you've not subscribed that you will subscribe if you do subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I upload and if you're one of my notification squad oh yes you do need to check your bells still and uh, make sure that they are rung because YouTube well, we're, we've been having this argument not, not argument but this complaint for months now months months if you do not subscribe well I'll be sad but hopefully you'll come by again because you're always welcome here and if you do come by again don't forget to bring your cup of tea yeah okay you can almost you can almost get that odd. Still chocolate, but I can see why they call it medium roast, if that makes sense. Not getting coffee, still chocolate, but I can see why they call it a medium roast. 
Anyway, I hope you all have a great day. Bye.